I am going to answer the five most common questions asked on YouTube about Zillow Rental Manager. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because I personally really like using Zillow Rental Manager. I think Zillow Rental Manager is a great platform both for medium term and long term rentals. Before I get started, my name is Erin Spradlin. I am an active real estate agent in Denver and Colorado Springs. We work with buyers, sellers, investors. We were in Colorado Springs and Denver and the metro areas around there. So if you are looking for a property in those locations, please reach out. My email is on the screen. I am also a consultant and I'm a consultant nationwide on midterm rentals. Um, I promise you I am a lot cheaper than a master class or an all-in class and I will do a one-to-one -one review of your property and you can ask me specific questions. I can help you with pricing. I can tell you whether or not the property is a good fit for midterm rentals. I can tell you how to write your listing. We can talk about the demographics that would want your property and where I think you should post it. So something to keep in mind. And again, if you want to do that, just email me below and we can get that set up. Um, and finally, I am an author. I'm a real estate author and an investing author. You can find my books on Amazon. Right now I have two out. In the future, I will have more, but you can see them there. The ones right now are on midterm rentals and they're just very direct guides on how to set up midterm rentals, what the process is, how to set it up, how to think about it, how to think about your tenants, how to prepare for them, etc. Question number one, how much does Zillow Rental Manager cost? So for the landlord, it is totally free to use Zillow Rental Manager. You can put your listing up for free. And then if a tenant wants to apply to your listing, it's gonna cost them $35. But the benefit to that is that they then get a screen on their background and credit check that will go to you as landlord and any other landlords that they want. But for the tenant side, it's them that it costs $35 to. For the landlord, it is free. If you want to highlight your property in Zillow Rental Manager, you can pay $29.99, I believe, a month to make it like a standout listing. It's worth it, and the reason why I think it's worth it is because you are losing the equivalent of that and then some for every day that someone isn't renting your property. So it is definitely worth it to pay that and have your listing stand out, get more eyes on it, and hopefully get a renter in sooner rather than later. Number two, how do I create a Zillow rental listing? All right, I have a video on this and you can follow it if you go to, the, to my guides playlist. There's a playlist, a guide to Zillow Rental Manager, and it's all about how to set it up. But just quickly, if you are in Zillow Rental Manager and you've signed up for an account, you can look in the upper right-hand corner. There's an option to add a property. You can put in your street address. It will build out a lot of the information for you there and then take you through the prompts. But also, again, there's a guide in my guides playlist about how to do Zillow Rental Manager. So number three, how do I edit uh, an existing rental listing on Zillow Rental Manager? So what you do is you log into Zillow Rental Manager, so you're in there, and then you look off to the left, so it's the upper left, it's in the heading, upper left, and it'll say properties, and it's the furthest to the left. You click on your properties, and then you'll see all of your properties listed. You click on the property you want, and once you're in that property, you'll see it, um, you'll see it listed and then you click on the three dots to the to the right of the property listing and then you'll see if you drop down it'll say edit property type. All right number four how do I deactivate a listing once it's up? Hopefully you've gotten a tenant you don't need to be on Zillow Rental Manager for a little while so what you do is very similar to when you're editing the property you log in, you go to the properties, so you click on it, it's the properties tab to the upper left-hand corner of Zillow Rental Manager. Click on it, you find that property, you click into that property, and then you'll see a screen with your property, and then you scroll down and you will see at the bottom, um, it will say your listings completeness is blank, and then it'll have edit or deactivate, and you click deactivate, and it'll say deactivate listing now, so it's asking for a confirmation. You say yes, and you deactivate it. Number five, can I screen tenants through Zillow Rental Manager? Yes, you can, it's awesome. It's so easy to use Zillow Rental Manager. This is why I love it so much. Um, for $35 and a $35 cost to your tenants, not to you, um, the way that this works is you have your property listed, it's up, people can see it. Someone is interested in it, they wanna fill out an application. When they go to fill out the application, 
you require them to do a background and credit check. It costs them $35, they do it, and then it gets emailed to you. It comes straight into your inbox. It's really easy to read. One other bonus to using Zillow Rental Manager is that when you post it, it not only shows up on Zillow, but your rental will also show up on Trulia and Hotpad. So you're covered across three platforms immediately. It's free to you as the landlord. $35 to the tenant and up with the Zillow rental manager. It has been one of my favorite platforms and I hope you share this experience. Thanks. Bye.